book of book look katika kitabu cha Luka and we are going to read chapter 5 na tutasoma mlango wa 5 we are not yet done with that book is the book that is going to give us uh, uh, the foundation of what we are speaking about Amen. so chapter 5 and that has read uh, verse 36 where the bible say here and he spake also a parable unto them no man put a piece of a new garment upon old if otherwise then the people uh, then then both the new maketh a rent and the piece that was taken out of the new agreeeth not with the old and no man put the new wine into old bottles or else the new wine will burst the bottles and be spilled and the bottles shall perish but new wine must be put in a new bottle and both are preserved no man also having drunk old wine straight away decided new for he saith the old is better akamwambia kwa midhari hakuna akataye kiraka cha vazi jipya na kukitia katika vazi kuku na kama akikitia amekata ile jipya na kile kiraka cha vazi jipya hakitalingana na lile vazi kuku wala hakuna mtu atia divai mpya katika viriba vikuku na kama akitia ile divai mpya ita, itafasua vile virimba divai yenyewe itamwagika na viriba vitaharibika lakini divai mpya sharti kulitia katika viriba vipya wala hakuna uh, hakuna uh, anywaye divai ya kale atama, uh, uh, akatamani divai mpya kwa kuwa asema ile ya kale ndio iliyo jema Amen let us also read the book of Romans chapter 6 uh, we will read seven verses where the bible say What shall we say then shall we continue in sin that grace may abound and uh, god forbid how shall we that are dead in sin live any longer there No he not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death therefore we are buried with him by the baptism unto death and like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the father even so uh, 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 even so we also should walk in newness of life For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection knowing this that our old man is crucified with him that the body of sin might be destroyed that henceforth we should not serve in sin we should not serve sin for he that is dead is freed from sin tusemeje basi dumoni katika dhambi ili neema neema izidi kuwa nyingi hasha sisi tulio uh, tuliofia dhambi tuishije tena katika dhambi Ham, hamfahamu ya kuwa sisi sote tulibatizwa katika Kristo Yesu tulibatizwa katika mauti yake basi tulizikwa pamoja naye kwa njia ya ubatizo katika mauti yake kusudi kama Kristo alivyofuka katika wafu hivyo hivyo na sisi tuenende katika upya wa maisha upya wa uzima tuenende katika tuenende uh, katika upya uh, upya wa uzima the last time you had me talking about the newness of life yeah. okay kwa maana kama mlivyo uganika naye katika mfa, uh, mfano wa mauti yake kadhalika mtauganika uh, kwa mfano wa kufuka kwake uh, mkijua neno hili ya, ya kuwa utu wetu wa kale ulisurubishwa pamoja naye mkijua mkijua kuwa utu wetu wa kale ulisurubishwa pamoja naye that our old man so we have an old man kwa, kwa hivyo tuna ule utu wa kale want you mark those two words nataka uangalie hayo maneno mawili newness of life upya wa maisha and the old man na ule utu wa kale continue ili mwili wa dhambi hali upatilike usi usi tusitumikie dhambi tena kwa kuwa yeye aliyekufa amehesabiwa haki bali na dhambi 
Amen. The Lord bless the ring of His word. You may be seated. Uh, today, as I promised you, uh, I want us to make a step forward uh, of the message that we have been sharing with you uh, about believers' condition when seeking the Holy Ghost. This is an inspiration that came to me after looking at our brothers and our sisters whom I know that in our church where we believe that the baptism of the Holy Ghost is the supernatural birth and it's a must for every believer and if you are a shepherd you are able to look at the sheep that you are taking care of and when you are uh, uh, giving them the food which is the word you know when they have eaten or when they have not taken anything you also know when they are convinced and persuaded of the word of God and the one thing that I know as standing here and the Holy Ghost being my witness is that I know that the members of Jericho Fellowship they know that they must be born again which is to be filled with the Holy Ghost that one I know that every member of this church they know it's a necessity they know it's, it's a must and they know it's very important. Praise the name of God. Uh, we, for, for, for we know that uh, without the baptism of the Holy Spirit, you are lost. And you, when you are not going to make it to the rapture. Perhaps I give you the, the, true, the two, two, three quotes confirming that uh, the importance of having the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Uh, where I give you that uh, uh, three quotes that tells you if you don't receive the Holy Ghost in your other life here on earth when you die you are lost you will never make it to the rapture and for that reason the prophet advised you can give me that one of three that everybody to look for it to seek for it without ceasing and he also advised that you better lose everything that there is on the earth uh, uh, and have the baptism of the Holy Spirit he even would say, you better even lose your wife. Lose your, lose your husband. Lose, lose, lose your job. Lose your lifestyle. When we look at the brothers and sisters today in our churches, and knowing that many are about by their lifestyle, others is because of their business. The devil has has something he is using. He has a trap. He has a bait. And you as a fish in the water. And you know that when the devil will, will, will get you, you will go to hell. You are bound with something that you know that is keeping you from receiving eternal life there are brothers who are here if they just leave the job that they are doing they, if they just stop their business they are doing they straight away get up the baptism of the Holy Ghost just a job is keeping a person a believer to go to receive the baptism of our Ghost, which we know it is eternal life. There is God in us. Others is their business. 
your business biashara tu business is keeping you from eternal life biashara tu inakutaganisha na uzima wa milele you are the most deceived creature here on earth wewe ni kiumbe abasho kimetaganyika sana dunia what is business biashara ndio ni a dung ni kinyezi your job is a dung kazi yako ni kinyezi anything that is contrary to the word of god that which can keep you from from heaven is a dung kitu kinyume na neno wa mungu abasho kitakutaganisha na biguni others is just the is the lifestyle wengine ni hali yao ya maisha lifestyle mtindo wa maisha that you love your lifestyle so much unapenda mtindo wako wa maisha sana heavy ya maisha you know there is a life that you want kuna yale maisha ambayo unayataka the devil has used your lifestyle shetani ametumia hali yako ya maisha if you are stealing kama unaiba and you are afraid na unaogopa to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost you must stop stealing ukipokea roho mtakatifu lasma no 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 if you are going to if you are seeking the baptism of the Holy Spirit kama unatafuta ujazo wa roho mtakatifu you must stop your stealing lazima uachane na wizi but you 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 are afraid lakini unaogopa that if i stop stealing what will happen to my life kwa bani kiasha kuiba nini kitafanyika maishani mwangu if i don't go and uh, continue with this business kama sitaendeleza biashara hii I saw a brother who is now uh, bowed with politics of this nation. Niliona ndugu ambaye amefungwa na siasa za ulimwengu huu. He is so much in politics. Ameingia sana katika siasa. Until some of them they are, they are, they, they are looking for position in government. Mpaka baadhi yao wanatafuta vyeo katika serikali. And you want to believe that you are still we are, you are still traveling on? Na unadhani kwamba ugali unasafiri? When you are doing politics, wakati unafanya siasa. And you are saying yes I feel I'm t- we are traveling on. Na unasema kwamba unahisi kwamba unate- unaendelea na safari. You are traveling on yes. Ndio unate- unaendelea na safari. But to the soul that are in prison Lakini now. Lakini kuelekea kwenye nafsi zilizo kifikoni sasa. So the prophet said. Kwa hivyo nabii akasema. That's not a matter which church you are. Haijalishi uko kanisa gani? Which church you belong? Wewe ni kanisa gani? Without the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Uh, bila ujaso la mtakatifu. He said, anasema. Uh, listen close before we go any further. Sikiza kwa makini kabla tuendelee zaidi. I want you to get it if we stay here till midnight. Na nitataka upate hata kama tutaka hapa mpaka usiku wa man- manani. Till midnight. Ah, uh, cause brother sababu dugu are you listening it is your soul ni nafsi yako it is your soul my brother ni nafsi yako dugu when you 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 we sometimes uh, uh, use some language that is not that is not good for you na wakati mwingine tunatumia lugha ambayo sio safi kwako and sometimes you are offended na wakati mwingine unaudhika mind you we Tuka. are taking care of your soul tunatunza nafsi yako We are not just here to just to offend you. Hatuko hapa kukuudhi and to speak things that are contrary na kusema mambo ambayo ni kinyume. But by the grace of God we are trying to take care of your soul. Lakini kwa neema ya Mungu tunajaribu kutunza nafsi yako. Because that's the reason why we are here. Sababu hiyo ndio sababu tuko hapa. I know many preachers who does not care about the souls of Najua the people. Na wabili wengi ambao hawajali nafsi za watu. They are just want to relate to their churches. Wanataka tu wawe wa Have a congregation that you give them tithes ili wakaweza kuwapa fungu la 10 and then they go home na waende nyumbani but they don't have anything lakini hawana shot to do with the souls of the people hawana shughuli na nafsi za watu but i want to tell you lakini nataka nikwambie if you are interested with the souls of the people kama una haja na nafsi za watu and you know na unajua the only way their souls will be saved is by the word jia tu ya kuokoa hizi nafsi ni kwa neno then you don't care na basi haujali of the feeling of their souls ah hisia za nafsi zao you tell them the word unawaambia neno without caring their feeling bia kujali hisia zao because kwa sababu it is the word that is going to give them eternal life ni neno ambalo litawapa uzima wa milele so the prophet is saying it is your soul my brother nasema ni nafsi yako ndugu yangu he say if you you, you 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 can say well i belong that ain't it na hawezi sema mimi you can't say that you belong to this church hawezi sema wewe ni wa kanisa i belong to the other church mimi ni wa kanisa i belong to the church of pastor so and so mimi ni ni wa kanisa la mchungaji frank it is not which church you belong to sio ni kanisa gani unashiriki the church you belong to has nothing to do with this issue ila kanisa unashiriki halina uhusiano na jambo hili what is important ya muhimu hii the prophet is saying here nabii anasema if you haven't got the holy ghost kama haujapata roho mtakatifu brother 
I don't care how many churches you belong to. You are lost. You are lost. Your soul is lost. And when we say that you are lost and you go to hell, you don't care. There is no feeling of fear that is in your heart. You, you have no feeling of fear in your heart. Daniel, thinking and knowing that you are losing your soul. Eh, kufikiri ya kwamba moyo wa, eh, nafsi yako inapotea because if you die without it ukifa bila roho mtakatifu here is your prophet he is telling you you are lost this has nothing to do with your preacher your preacher is just obligated to tell you the truth and tell you what the, your prophet said do you believe your prophet he is telling you you are lost it does not, does not matter which church you belong and even how many churches you want to belong no Apan. Without it you are lost. Bila hiyo umepotea. And he continue to say if you are not born again. Kama haujazaliwa mara ya pili. Because to be born again is to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Sababu kuzaliwa mara ya pili ni kujazwa na mtakatifu. He say if you are not born again. Kama haujazaliwa mara ya pili. Of the spirit of God. Na roho wa Mungu. By the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Kwa ubatizo wa mtakatifu. You are lost. Umepotea. Cause you you cause he say cause you cause eh 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 he say cause you have you have it got life kwa sababu haujapata ule uhai you don't have eternal life hauna uzima uh, wa milele an eternal life na uzima wa milele is the only thing that god will raise up ndio kile tu mungu atafufua because it is the only life kwa sababu ndio utu uzima that is uhai. left that is left ambao umesalia that the prophet is telling you you don't have eternal life nabii anakuambia kwamba hauna uzima wa milele without uh, without 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 the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Bila ubatizo wa mtakatifu. You don't have eternal life. Hauna haujapata uzima wa milele. You will never be there. Hautakuwa pale. Give me it for in the resurrection. Eh katika ufufuo. Because you died without eternal life. Kwa sababu ulikufa bila uzima wa milele. And he is saying that is the only life that is left. Na anasema ndio uzima tu ambao umezaliwa. And that is the only life that you raise up. Na ndio uzima ambao atafufua. And you don't have it. Na hauna. Meaning that you will never if you die in that condition you never you never go you never be in the resurrection. Kimaanisha kwamba ukifa katika hali hiyo hautafufua. And you don't care. Na haujali. And I told you the reason why you don't care. Na nikwambia sababu ni is because of the hardness of the sitting of the of sin that's right it's what, and, and Paul say that na Paulo akasema hivyo that sin is deceiving kwa kwa ba dhabi inadaganya sin deceive people dhabi inadaganya watu it deceived the people in the desert for 40 years ili wadaganya watu kule jagwani miaka 40 they were hardened by sin walifanya wagumu na dhambi could you imagine the people who have gone out of egypt waezaje kufikiria watu waliotoka misri and have they seen many pledges that were thrown in the land of egypt na wakaona yale mapigo ambayo yalimwagwa kule misri and how those people who are punished by God. Jinsi wale watu waliadhibiwa na Mungu. They ought to have the fear of God. Walikuwa wanafaa kumwogopa Mungu. Which is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of the wisdom. Ni mwanzo wa hekima. But you look at these guys how they behave in the desert for 40 years. Lakini waone jinsi walivyojiendesha miaka 40 kule jangwani. Did they fear God? Je, walimwogopa Mungu? Oh no. Apana. Why? Ni kwa nini? Because they were deceived. Kwa sababu walidaganyika. By the by sin na dhambi they are hurt mioyo yao was hardened ilifanywa migumu even you yourself hata wewe mwenyewe that is why you don't fear sababu kwa nini hauogopi of your final destination ati hajui hatima yake it's because your heart is already hardened ni kwa sababu moyo wako tayari umepata by the sinfulness of sin na udaganyifu wa dhambi and that is why you have this spirit of don't care na ndio maana una huyo roho wa kutojali and you are also arrogant na wewe pia ni mkaidi but i want me tell you one thing lakini kwambie jambo moja that you might die and if you die God is going to require that you have the baptism of the Holy Spirit they were hardened by they were hardened in their heart I want to give you that scripture is in the book of Hebrews 40 years they were hardened in their hearts the Hebrews chapter 3 until they could not enter to the promised land Mm -hmm. 
He say here in, chap in verse 3, uh, in chapter 3, verse 7, he say here, Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost said it today, if you hear the voice, if you, if you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Harden. Amen. Harden not your heart as in the provocation, in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and so my was forty years. Wherefore I was grieved with the generation, with that generation, and said, They do always err in their heart, and they have not known my ways. So I swear in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Take heed, brethren, lest be any of you, and lest be any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. But exhort one another daily, while it is called today, lest any one of you uh, be hardened through deceitfulness of sin. Can you read verse 13? Lakini, muonyane, kila siku. Tunakuonya hapa kila Wednesday, kila sadi. Tuonyane kila siku. Maadamu ito hapo leo. Siku hili ito hapo leo uko hai. Ili moja wenu asifanyo. Mmoja wenu asifanyo na saitani kuwa na moyo mugumu. Mugumu kwa udaganyifu wa thambi. Nini nadanganya? Thambi. Mchugaji diya nadanganya? Mushirika mwezako diya nakudanganya? Asha. Biyashara yako diya inakudanganya? Bibi yako diya na kudanganya. Kabla ufika kudanganya na hizo vitu, kitu kili kudanganya ni dhambi. Na dhambi inako danganya, ufanya mutu wa moyo mugumu. Ufanya mutu wa mwanadamu, kuwa mugumu. Na mwanadamu wakisaa danganyika na dhambi, huwa haogopi na hana kicho. You see, God is claiming that these people, they never, they never knew his ways. Mungu wanadai kwa ba watu hawa hawa kujua jia zake. They always do air. Kila wakati wanapotea. A people who have seen all things that he had done in the land of Egypt. Watu wa ba waliona yote ba yalifanya kure misi. They ought to have known more than Egyptians. Walifa wa juu zaidi kuri kwa misi. More than the Gentiles that were in the desert. Kuri kwa hale wa 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 watu wa rikuwa kure jaguani. Ought to know more than actually to disbelieve God. And disobey him. But now they are they are hardened of their heart. They have an evil heart. Yeah, a person that is already hardened by the sinfulness of sin has an evil heart. And you want God to fill this evil heart with the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And now we are talking about receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And you know that you don't live by the word. You are a worker of iniquity. Because a worker of iniquity is that which know which is right. But he chooses to do that which is wrong. You do a uh, you end. You don't know the ways of God. Not because you have not heard. But it's because you have an evil heart. Hardened. By the sinfulness of sin. So we are made partakers of Christ. If we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast in the end. What it is said today. What it is today. My brother the prophet says Don't think of tomorrow Don't think of the next few minutes Because you even don't know whether you go home That's what the prophet said You don't know whether you will even be there tomorrow You don't know whether the end of this week will be there And Paul is telling the church What is it is today. The Paul is telling the church. Where it is today. Where it is today. Uh, if you hear the voice. Harden not your heart. As in the provocation. For some. When they had. And uh, when they had had. Did provoke. How be it. Not all come out of Egypt by Moses. But. But. Whom. He was grieved forty years. Was it not them that his that he had sinned, whose carcass fell in the wilderness? And to whom swear he that they should not enter into his rest, 
which is the baptism of the Holy Ghost, he said because the rest was canal. You see, the rest is a type of Sabbath. And our Sabbath Na sabato yetu is the baptism of the Holy Ghost, ni which is Christ. Ni they were at rest in the promised land. They were hardened by sin na wagumu na till they could not enter into the rest of God because they were deceived by sin. Kwa sababu, na and they died in the desert. Na wakafa and my brother, my sister, na dubu, na dada, if you are not going to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost Kama huja, huta la we don't have a promise that God is going to keep you all the time Kwa Mungu you will die in the desert of the message jag, e God is able to discern Mungu kujua. whether you know the message or not Kama unajua ujube, um, um, whether you have heard it or not Kama umeusikia mapa. and God is able to assess your mind Na Mungu he ku, is able to kuya, look at kuya, your heart ma, 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 because the Bible Say, he is said. able to discern the mind of man. He is able to discern the, heart, the intent of the heart of man. God knows whether you have heard this message or not. And so he can judge you by what you have heard. He looked at what he did in the day, in, the, in, the, in Egypt. He looked at what he did in the day, in the in Egypt. And many signs and wonders. And he looked at them in the desert. And he looked at them in the desert. Weighed them by the word of God. He said, God in Numbers chapter 13 and 14. He said, These people, they have mis they have. Uh, they have rejected my word by unbelief kwa for more than 10 times. Kwa mara zaidi ya kumi. He is counting. He knows Anajua. whether you have heard. Kama whether you know. Kama he knows. Anajua. Praise the name of the God. He knows whether you believe or not. Anajua kama ya mapa. And he can judge you today Na whether you believe it or not. Kama ya mapa. So he, they could not enter to the rest kwa ile because them or that believe not. So we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. Praise the So he say that they could not believe. That is why they could not enter to Canaan. Which is the type of the Holy Ghost. To the New Testament believer. In question and answers of 54, the prophet say here, would it, would it be like me saying, all church now, every one of you, come in and be baptized here with the water and we put on the church membership, we are going to glory together. Where, well, brother, that is not scripture. Unless you are born again, circumcised of the Holy Spirit, you got to have, you have got to be. I don't care how good you are, what church you belong to, how good your parents was, except as an individual. Ila, ila tu, kama, kila mtu binafsi, has been born again tena, by the Holy Ghost takatifu, you will never go into the rapture you will never go in the rapture so we see tunaona, that without the rapture kwa babi, without the Holy Ghost bila takatifu, you will never go to the rapture praise the name of the God hallelujah Tukufu. you will never go to the rapture I want you to give me 20 paragraphs to paragraph 65 so we see that we must receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit to be able to be in the rapture. Praise the name of That's why the prophet is telling us don't be afraid of your job. Don't be afraid of money. The prophet is saying be better lose everything of this world. You better lose your business. Some people, it is their business. I know you. I know you people. You know me also. Some people, it's their job that is separating them from eternal life. But do they care? No. Why? Because they have an evil heart. Why? Because they have been hardened of your heart by the sinfulness of sin. So the problem is saying here the Holy Ghost ought to be the most important thing to you than 
everything else. There is in the world. The Holy Ghost is more important than your job. Don't tell me of your business. Don't tell me of your wife. Don't tell me of your husband. Don't tell me of your career. Don't tell me of, of your children. Don't tell me of your family life. Don't tell me of your anything that you are doing. Don't tell me of your eating and drinking. Many of you people it's food for stomach that is keeping you that is keeping you from the baptism of the Holy Ghost because you think you go hungry you think you go without food you think you go without, without clothes and you don't know this is the kingdom of God the baptism of the Holy Spirit is the kingdom of God and his righteousness which God told you seek ye the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things you are eating you are drinking you are clothing you are children you are wife you are job you are business these things of the world he says even before you pray he knows what you need and he gonna give you but he advises you seek ye first the kingdom of God fast and his righteousness and the prophet says the kingdom of God is the baptism of the Holy Spirit but you don't care so the prophet is telling you you better lose anything there is in this world get the baptism of the Holy Spirit your prestige your life your job you are everything that there is should, you should not cease until you have it you must have it must be the most well say I am afraid many of you it, it is fear of Satan you are afraid the prophet is saying is giving the example here he said they are afraid at my work I'm afraid that my husband husband kitu gani wengine wenyu mume tupo za wamama wengine wanasema ni husband mimi nikiwa mume muke wa siku ya leo muaminio katika kanisa letu I can say to her with my husband naweza sema kuzimu na mmewa that's right you are living with a husband that will never allow you to seek for the baptism of the Holy Ghost just because you want him to be your husband I'm not preaching about separating or divorce but I'm saying to me the baptism of the Holy Ghost which is eternal life is more important than, when I, that, than what I can get from my wife than when, what you can get from your husband That's right. what you can get from your husband and from your wife is, is no satisfaction which will, take, which will never when you go to hell Na when, kuzimu, you will never need it hautahitaji when you go to the grave you never you never need it hautahitaji and some of you are captive are captives of toxic relationship na baadhi yenu wana si, mimi sijui abiwa ni ule <laughs> mateka wa maisha ya familia maofu just because you fear that husband kwa sababu tunamuogopa huyo bwana you have to have two hands you move out una talk go and work for your for your for your for your belly enda ufanyie kazi tubo yako be free uwe huru kuwa huru jiweke huru mimi nimeona wanawake wengi mwanamke mwingine a sister here dada hapa was told by her husband aliambia na mwanake i don't want to see you in that church sikastaki kukuona katika kanisa hili the prophet said when the when your wife when the prophet said when it comes that your husband is telling you that leave the word leave the church nabii anakuambia kwamba ikifika wakati mume wako anakuambia washa kanisa our prophet tells you that is the time for divorce and separation nabii anakuambia huo ndio wakati wa taraka that is the time you separate yourself hapo ndipo unajitenga from that kind of a husband 
unajitenganisha na Bwana. He'll never take you to heaven. Hata kupeleka biguni. That wife will never take you to heaven. Huyu mkeo hata kupeleka biguni. Hata mnaogopa asiniache. Asikuache kitu gani? Wewe uko na mikono miwili na hujakuwa mgonjwa na ukimwachia hiyo watoto wake na serikali itajali watoto hata mimi ukija hapa nitakupeleka mahali serikali inajali watoto nitakusaidia hii dume itachunga hiyo watoto na hata sio watoto tu mahali tutafuatilia hii yako nayo unafikiri serikali haijali hiyo mambo yote please remember living god and you are captive of such a husband and captive of such a wife and the prophet is saying don't be afraid of that husband na sema usimuogope huyo bwana who tell you that you that you stay home abaya atakwambia ukae nyumbani please remember living god we try to preach a husband of some sister that which was here tuli jaribu a sister believe the message dada kaamini ujumbe in this church katika kanisa hili her husband wanake was in denomination alikuwa katika madhehebu and the sister na dada told her told the husband akamwambia bwana i'm not going to accompany you to our usual church sita adamana nawe kanisa katika kanisa lako or the church where you fellowship ama mahali na shiriki myself i have received the message of the hour mimi nimepokea ujumbe wa kanisa and for that reason na kwa sababu hiyo i am not going to accompany you sita adamana na wewe and if you want to hear the reason why na kama ungetaka kusikia sababu you come uje we sit down to get it and tell you natukwambia the reason why i cannot accompany you sababu kwa nini siwezi and if i am not going to be able to convince you na kama sitaweza kukushawishi then you i will take you to the place where i go there are people who can talk to you na nitakupeleka mahali na shiriki kuna watu watakuogelea and the husband was brought to me na bwana akaletwa kwangu and i seated him down na nikamketisha shiriki and i Preach to him the message of the hour. Nikamhubiria ujumbe wa kasha. He rejected the message. Akakataa ujumbe. And when he went home, nalipoenda nyumbani. He told the wife, akamwambia mke. If I see you in that church, nikikuona katika kanisa. I'm going to kill you. Nitakuua. The wife told him, na mke akamwambia. Better kill me. Ni heli uniue. In that church. Eh, nikiwa katika hilo kanisa. And go to heaven. Na niende kuzibiguni. Eh, and live with you and go to hell. Kuliko kuishi na wewe na niende kuzimu. And that kind of faith na imani aina hiyo costed the marriage of that sister ili galimu ile doa ya yule dada she is still single agari anaishi peke yake she is still separated herself from that husband agari alijitega later the husband left left the husband himself left and left the sister yule bwana aliondoka na kamwasha yule dada please and believe god and the sister is still believing na dada agari anaamini please and i believe that if this sister get the baptism of the holy ghost will go to heaven na ninaamini kwamba akipata roho mtakatifu and the prophet is telling you don't be afraid of your husband na mimi nakwambia don't be afraid of your job usiogope kazi don't be afraid of that stomach usiogope ile tumbo please and believe god you think the people that are in the mock they they never eat something unafikiria wale wale watu watu wale wamelala kwa moja unafikiri kitumbo zao hazina chakula They have food they have taken. Wana shakura, wale kula shakura. And you it is food. Na wewe ni shakura. If I leave this job, nikiacha hiyo. And this job is corruption. Na hii kazi God will never accept accept you with this job. God will never accept with you with this business. Mungu hatakukubali. You know that because you know the message. Unajua hivyo kwa sababu unajua. But you cannot stop it. Lakini hauwezi kuacha. You fear for your stomach. Unaogopa tuba yako. Then Paul say basi paru akasema in the book of first corinthians chapter 13 kitabu cha wakorinto food is for stomach akasema chakula ni shatu and stomach is for food na tumbo ni ya shakura and both are going to be destroyed by na god na zote zitaagamizwa na mungu and he, he, what will make you live is eternal life na kitakacho kufanya uishi ni uzima so the problem is saying don't be afraid kwa hivyo nabii anasema usiogope no, let the, let everything else go acha kila kitu kingine let your job go acha kazi yako yote god will know what you do with you mungu anajua atafanya nini nawe acha biashara yote god will know what you do with you mungu atajua yako let your marriage go Asha doa yako hiyo. God will know what you do with you. Mungu anatajua cha kwa husband go. Asha bwana yako. Let your family go. Asha familia yako yodo. Let your wife go. Asha mke wa odo. Let your lifestyle go. Asha hadhi yako yodo. God is going to take care of you. Mungu atakuchugulikia. That's what the prophet is saying. Ndio ndivyo nabii anasema. And don't say na, na I expect to get it one of these day brother Abraham. Ati natarajia kumpata mmoja hizi zipo kubla na. No, the, the prophet is saying no not one of these days. Nabii anasema sio moja siku. Now. Sasa hivi. This is the time. Huu ndio wakati. He say anasema let everything uh, let let it be fast. 
Asha itaguli. That before I do anything else, Kwa kabla let nito. me have it now. La asha ni mpate, sir. You become desperate. Unakata tama. That would help to answer your question. Kujibu when you get desperate for it, uki, uki kata tama kwa hiyo. Eh, really, I got to have it or die. Ni, 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 ni mpate, then that is when you are going to get it. Do you believe you are prophet? Je, wako. Praise the name of living God. So now let us deal with the condition. Asha we said last time according to the scripture that we have that we have read Jesus taught that you cannot put a new garment in an old garment he said that you must put a new garment on a new garment to preserve both but, but he said if you put an old garment Garment, if you put a new garment vazi, vazi on, a new, on an old garment, ya, eh, kuku, the rent will be worse eh, ki, kilaka kita panuka, because they agree not. Kwa sababu they cannot be compatible. That is the scriptures. Hayo ni you lose both the new and the old. Ile mpia na ile mze. So we see kwa hivyo tunaona, the advice of Jesus sha, sha wa Yesu, is that if you want to put a new garment, ni kwaba, ukitaka kueka, Vazimpia. Put it on a new garment. Eh, kilaka weka, kilaka mze kwa mze. Kile mpia kwa, kwa vazimpia. It's not even... It's not even an old with an old. It is a new on a new. Ni ile mpia kwa ile mpia. He also said that that when we see there is a newness of life. Kwa hivyo tukaona kwamba kuna upya mambo. This they need a new to be put a new. Kuna hitajika kipya kiwekwe ndani ya kipya. The second parable he taught. Na eh, mfano wa pili akafundisha. You cannot put a new wine. Hauwezi kuweka diva mpya in an old bottle. Eh katika chupa mzee. Because kwa sababu the new wine ile eh, diva mpya will ferment it Ita, ita iva, and and burst the old bottle na na na, na ile shupa mze, and burst the old bottle ile shupa mze. and the new wine will be spilled na ile diva mpya ita mwagika and you lose both the new wine and your old bottle na utapoteza shupa na hata ile and he caught na kafundisha a new wine diva mpya must be put in a new bottle lazima iwekwe ndani ya diva mpya praise the living god so we see here kwa hivyo tunaona you cannot put a new wine hauwezi kutia diva mpya in a new bottle katika shupa mzee you lose them both utazipoteza zote bila but he say lakini anasema a new wine diva mpya must be put in a new bottle lazima iwekwe katika shupa and both are preserved na zote zita hiva zitakuwa salama na Nasas. You are the one who is likened with, or who is uh, who is uh, who is uh, uh, likened with 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 an old bottle. Wewe unafananishwa na chupa mzee. You are the one who is likened with an old wine. Wewe ndio una old garment. Unafananishwa na vazi mzee. And you cannot receive a new garment. Na uwezi kupokea vazi mpya. Uh, Being that you are old. Eh uh, wewe ukiwa mzee. You cannot bring an old bottle. Hauwezi kuwa chupa mzee. Receive the new wine. Upokee diva mpya. Which is the type of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Ambaye ni mpana wa ubatizo la mtakatifu. Praise the name of God. So there must be a newness of life. Hivyo lazima kuwe na upya wa maisha. And we all know na sisi sote tutajua that Paul said kwamba Paulo anasema in the book of 1 Corinthians katika kitabu cha Wakorintho wa kwanza I think this is chapter chapter 6 verse 19 mlango wa 6 ya 19 that we are the temple kwamba sisi ni hekalu of the Holy Spirit. Ya Roho Mtakatifu. Give me verse 19. What Knowing not your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in which which is in you which you have of God and you are not of your own Ama hamjui ya kuwa mwili wenu ni, ni, ni hekalu la Roho Mtakatifu aliye ndani yenu mliyepewa mm -hmm. uh, na Mungu mm -hmm. wala nyinyi si mali yenu wenyewe So we see kwa hivyo tunaona if the Holy Ghost is the new wine kama Roho Mtakatifu ni red wine mpya then we are the container basi dio sisi dio tunabeba We are that bottle sisi die zile shupa and we must be a new bottle na ni lazima tuwe ni shupa mpya We cannot be a new bottle hatuwezi kuwa shupa mzee because we cannot contain the holy spirit kwa sababu hatuwezi kumuhifadhi roho mtakatifu because kwa sababu jesus is teaching yesu anafundisha there is no way hakuna vile you can put a new wine unaweza kuweka divine in an old bottle katika diva, uh, chupa mzee because you lose them both 
kwa sababu zote utazipoteza. Praise the name of God. So there is a newness of life. Kwa hivyo kuna upya wa maisha. That is required. Ambayo inahitajika. From the believer. Kutoka kwa muamini. The condition. Ile hali. To receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Ya kupokea ubatizo wa Mtakatifu. Is that you must have a newness of life. Ni kwamba lazima uwe na upya wa maisha. Let us now deal with how are we going to get this newness of life. Acha tuangalie sasa tutapataje upya wa maisha. So that we can be able to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Ili kupokea ubatizo la Mtakatifu. Because according to the teaching of Jesus Christ. Kwa sababu kuligana mafundisho ya Yesu Kristo. Is that we must have a newness of life. Ni kwamba lazima tuwe na upya wa maisha. So that we can receive the Holy Spirit. Ili tukapokea roho mtakatifu. We know tunajua that we are all born in sin. Kwamba sote tulizaliwa katika dhambi. And we have a sinful nature. Na tuna asili ya dhambi. And we come to the world. Na tukaja duniani. Sinners wenye dhambi. Short of the glory of God. Tukiwa tumepungukiwa na utukufu. That's what the prophet that's what the scripture says. Maandiko yanasema hivi. That we are all born in sin. Kwamba tulizaliwa zote katika dhambi. We are all born short of the glory of God. Tulizaliwa tukipungukiwa na utukufu wa Mungu. We are born na tumezaliwa with a sinful nature. Na ile hali asili ya dhambi. And this sinful nature na hiyo asili ya dhambi is what make you an old garment ndio inakufanya vazi kuku is what make you an old bottle ndio inakufanya chupa kuku which cannot receive a new old, a new uh, 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 which cannot receive a new garment ambaye haiwezi kupokea kila kampia or a new wine ama diva mpya so What is old in you? Kwa hivyo kirisho kizeda ni yako. Is that old sinful nature? Ni ile asili ya kikale ya dhambi. And that is what Paul is calling na ndio Paulo anaita the old man of sin. Ule mtu wa kale wa. Are you getting a church? Je, kanisa mnaipaka? Can you be able to tie those dots together? Je, unaweza kufunganisha? We are now explaining the scriptures. Sasa tunaelezea maandiko. We are telling you what is wrong with you. Tunakuambia shida yako. We are telling you what has been keeping you from receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Tunakuambia nini kimekuwa kimezuia kupokea You are born with an old man of sin. Ulizaliwa na ule utu wa dhambi. And God cannot come. God, Mungu hawezi kuja. God cannot come. Mungu hawezi kuja. While still that old man of sin is still there. Wakati yule mtu wa kale wa dhabi agali pale. Because kwa sababu God and that old man of sin cannot share your temple Mungu which na, is the body together. Mungu na yule mtu wa kale wa dhabi yes. hawezi Your body is the container. Wako your body is the container. Mwili wako ndio shupa ama maskani. That's what the, the scripture is showing us. Maandiko yanatuonyesha hivi. Paul is saying that your body is the temple. Paulo anasema kwamba mwili wako ni hekalu. The container. Ndiye anabeba. The 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 the, the bottle. I, ile shupa. We have the new wine. Mahali diva mpya. Which is the Holy Ghost? Bani yolo mtakatifu. Must be put in. Lazima awekwe. But God cannot put his Holy Spirit in you. Lakini Mungu hawezi kuweka Roho Mtakatifu ndani yako. When that old sinful nature, wakati ile asili ya kale ya dhambi, which Paul called the old man of sin, ambaye Paulo anaita ule mtu wa kale wa dhambi, is still there, agali pale, and he was born habitating that that temple. Na ki aliz, uh, ali, alizaliwa, alizaliwa akiwa na ishi akiwa naishi that's right anaishi katika ile nafsi akiwa naishi katika huo mwili wako you are born with a sinful nature ulizaliwa na hiyo asili ya dhambi and you do you know na je unajua do you know that that nature je unajua kwamba ile asili that the prophet called that nature nabii anaita the spirit of the devil roho wa shetani that old man of sin in you yule mtu wa kale wa dhambi ndani yako the prophet called that nature nabii anamuita anamuita anaita ile asili the spirit of the devil roho wa shetani if you are, you are born with the spirit of the devil kama ulizaliwa na ana roho wa shetani how do you want god to come and fill you with his holy spirit unatakaje mungu ajikujaze na roho wake mtakatifu let's go to nine and see and see whether we can get those those quotes there You have a spirit of the devil una roho wa shetani that's why the prophet said even god cannot use you na ndio maana nabii anasema hata mungu hawezi kukutumia because you are in friendship kwa sababu una urafiki you are in love una 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 uhusiano wa kimapesi you love that old man very much unapenda ule mtu wa dhambi sana will you see when i'm going to speak after this i'm going to speak another message baada hii nitanena ujumbe i promise you that i am going to speak in visible union of the marriage of the lamb kwa sababu nitanena juu ya muungano usionekana wa harusi ya mwanakondo i'll speak about that after this i'm going to speak that After the message that is going on Saturday I'm going to speak about that. And I and I want to tell you you will see clearly na utaona wazi wazi God will never be interested with you Mungu hatakuwa na haja na wewe all the time you are harboring 
that nature wakati wote unahifadhi ile asi because he is telling you kwa sababu anakuambia if you want me to come and live in you ukitaka nije nikae ndani yako what you do kile unafanya is that you must kill that nature ni kwamba lazima sharti uagamize ile nafsi and you yourself you cannot kill it na wewe mwenyewe hauwezi kumuua yule shetani you cannot kill that evil spirit of the devil that sinful nature that asli athan and remember as i preached sometimes ago kama vile nihubiri wakati mwingine that sinful nature hiyo asli athan is like is like a rapist ni kama munajisi munajisi and uh, taking a woman akimchukua mwanamke by force kwa kutumia nguvu and actually keeping her somewhere na kumweka mahali and actually dividing that woman every day na of her life na kumnanyisi yeye kila siku so you are born with a rapist kwa hivyo ulizaliwa na na uh, ulizaliwa you you are let me use this language which the prophet uses in the message in the union you are you are born una, una, ulizaliwa with a ruler na mtawala which which is your first husband ambaye ni bwanako wa kwanza which was not ordained to be in your soul ambaye hakukusudiwa kuwa nafsi ni mwako he hijacked you alikuteka he is a defiler yeye ni mnajizi he hold you hostage anakushikilia mateka and all the time you are you have that nature na wakati wote una hiyo asri you are an enemy of god wewe ni adui wa mungu and god cannot you even use you na mungu hawezi kukutumia because that nature kwa sababu hiyo asri loves the things of the world inapenda mambo ya ulimwengu and that is why many people hate the preachers na ndio maana watu wengi wanashukia wahubiri because the preachers will always be against that nature kwa sababu wahubiri watakuwa kinyume na ile asri the preacher will tell you don't do muhubiri atakwambia hivyo utaenda and you love that thing very much na unapenda jambo hilo sana you love that you love it very much unaipenda sana you you are in love uko eh, unaumpenda have you ever seen young girls unaona wasichana wadogo school girls wasichana wa shule they have taken by men motorbikes riders wameshukuriwa na waendeshaji wa pikipiki and they are hostage in some houses na wanawekwa mateka mahali fulani and when you go you want to call them back to go to school na ukitaka kuwaleta warudi shule they don't want hawataki they tell you they are done with the school wanakwambia wamemalizana na shule they want to live with the motorbike rider wanataka kuishi na wale waendeshaji wa pikipiki we have seen that tumeona hili and when we are telling you na tunapokuambia this man must you must leave this man lazima uwashane na huyu mtu because this nature will take you to hell kwa sababu hii asri itakupeleka kwa god is telling you you are his enemy mungu anakuambia wewe ni adui wake you hear none how sick you can you because you are in love kwa sababu uko katika hali ya mapenzi you have tasted something that is contrary to the word of god unaoja kitu ambacho ni kinyume na neno la mungu which is sin ambayo ni dhambi and this sin sin is sweet na dhambi ni tamu That's what the prophet said. Nabii anasema hivyo. Sin is so sweet. Ndabi ni tamu sana. Living in a sinful life, ukiishi katika maisha ya dhambi. Where you are roaming everywhere you go like an animal. Mahali unatagataga kila mahali kama mnyama. Eating every few the thing of this world. Kula kila kitu ushapo. And then come back to the church. Na urejee kanisani. That you you that kind of a life. Maisha aina hiyo is so sweet. Ni tamu sana. But to a god, lakini kwa Mungu. You are a dog. Wewe ni mbwa. You are a pig. Wewe ni nguruwe. You are an clean bird. Wewe ni ni, ni dege mshafu. You are a fortune. Wewe ni you are a scavenger. Wewe ni kuburu. You are a crow. Wewe ni kuburu. Amen. You are a mute. Yes. Wewe ni nyumbu. Nyumbu. <laughs> you God, when you have that kind of a nature, ukiwa na asri aina hiyo, you are not a friend of God. Wewe sio rafiki wa Mungu. But just receive the Holy Ghost. Lakini pokea tu Roho Mtakatifu. Which I'm telling you that you receive. Ambayo nakwambia kwamba mpokee. Then there pale pale you are no longer a dog wewe si mbwa tena but a son of god lakini wewe ni mwana wa mungu you are no longer no longer a pig wewe si nguruwe tena but the bride of jesus christ lakini wewe ni bibi ya rusezo you are no longer a crow wewe ni kusio kuburu tena but a christian lakini wewe ni mkristo you are no longer a vulture wewe si dege mshao but a witness of jesus christ lakini wewe ni shahidi wa yesu kristo you see you change unabadilika because you have received a new life kwa sababu umepokea maisha mapya so the prophet is saying here kwa hivyo nabii anasema give me it is is it eight or nine We are in the we are in nine Give me eight why can't you give me uh, 28 and 29 27 or then 29 20 10 Okay Hey Give me I want to read it there Yeah 28 and 29 of 9 
wewe umehifadhi nyoka ambaye atakuja kukukura siku moja akupeleke kuzimu na Yesu Kristo anakuambia mtoe huyo nyoka ni muue unamwambia hapana ni rafiki yangu huyo nyoka anakuteka mateka unasema sitaki kujua huyo nyoka nyoka atakupeleka kuzimu sitaki kujua so the prophet is saying in this message the faith that was once delivered to the saint he said until that all cano adamic nature is killed in a man mpaka ile asili ya kale ya kiadamu yagamizwa ndani ya mtu he is still a sinner agari mwenye dhambi you see that all the sinful nature that you have in your life kwa hivyo hiyo asili ya kale unayo maisha ni mwako make you a sinful a sinful temple inakufanya hekalu abara ni dhambi because and god cannot come there na mungu hazi kuja pale the prophet say you, he might go to the church Nabii anasema aweza kwenda kanisani. Ever so often, mara nyingi. Mara nyingi. He might put his name, his name on a book. Aweke jina lake kwenye kitabu. But as long as those things are in him. Lakini mradi haya mambo yako ndani yake. He is still out of line with God. Agali nje ya mpango wa Mungu. The unity of one God in the one church the prophet say. How can he work with you? Anawezaje kufanya kazi na wewe? When you have the nature of the spirit of the devil is in there kwa wakati yule roho wa shetani hiyo asri ya roho ya roho wa shetani ya shetani you have the nature of the spirit of the devil una ile asri ya roho wa shetani and that is how can god work with you na mungu hawezi kufanya kazi na wewe because we read the scripture say kwa sababu tusisoma maandiko yanasema that god kwamba Mungu cannot dwell together with 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 the serpent. Hawezi kuishi pamoja na nyoka. God cannot dwell together with sins. Eh yeah, Mungu hawezi kuishi pamoja na dhambi. Now you have a sinful nature. Na una asili ya dhambi. Which the Bible is calling the old man of sin. Habari Biblia inaita mtu wa kale. The prophet is calling it Adamic nature. Eh Paulo anamuita the prophet. Nabii anamuita asili ya kiadamu. And he is calling it as a, 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 a spirit of the devil. Na anamuita roho wa shetani. He is in there in your soul. Ako nafsi ni mwako. And he is saying, na anasema, every man must born again on uh, on earth is born in sin. Every man born on earth is born in sin. Shepherd in Ukete and he come to the world speaking lies. Na kila mwanadamu mm. amezaliwa duniani, mm. alizaliwa katika dhambi. You come to the world speaking lies. We are all born like that. Si zote tulizaliwa hivi. Shepherd in Ukete tukawa na sura ya maana ya mbao na tukawa na roho wa shetani come to the world speaking right kaja duniani tukienda na uongo how do you want god to fill you his spirit when that nature is still unatarajiaje mungu akujase roho wako they are not compatible haziwezi patana they cannot live together haziwezi ishi they cannot agree haziwezi kukubaliana this is a old garment hili ni vazi and the holy ghost is a new garment na roho mtakatifu ni garment they are not they cannot agree haziwezi kukubaliana this is a new uh, this is an old bottle ni chupa mpya which is you abaye ni which is that nature abaniyo as and the holy ghost is the new nature na alom takatifu ya asili they cannot agree as you can you cannot put a new wife haiwezi kuweka new wife no the bottle katika there must be a change in your life lazima kuwe na mabadiliko maishani mwako praise the name of living god anasikia so in that kind of adamic nature kwa hivyo katika hiyo asili ya how how can a man achieve anything mwanadamu anawezaje kupata chochote through his intellectual kupitia akili yake you can't hawezi through in your intellectual you god cannot be able but when he come to become a new creature lakini inapofikia kuwa kiumbe kipya you become a new creature unafanyika kiumbe kipya look at what the prophet is saying here agari ya kila nabii anasema and the old man has passed out na yule mtu wa kale ameodoka that thing that is making you an old garment kile kinakufanya vazi mzee that thing that is making you no the bottle kina kwa kinachokufanya chupa mzee is that old sin for nature ni ile asili ya thambi when that sin for nature is out wakati hiyo asili ya thambi imeodoka when is it dead wakati imekufa straight by god imeagamizwa na mungu and the new man na mtu mpya christ eh kristo you see an old man go out sasa mtu mzee anaodoka and a new man come in na mtu mpya anaingia which is christ abaye ni kristo he take the throne in the human heart anatoa kile kiti cha enzi ndani ya moyo wa mwanadamu and then the life look different na sasa maisha yanaonekana tofauti then he start a new road sasa anaanza mwelekeo mpya from his old selfish motives kutoka kwa ile male yale malengo ya kujipea ya ubinafsi ya ubinafsi till he begin till he the big ideas to make himself something big na zile akili za za ukuu za kujifanya mtu mkuu he start 
right towards Calvary. Na anaanza kuelekea sasa Calvary. To recognize God. Kumtabua Mungu. His objectives. Malengo yake. His much his motive. Makusudi yake. His achievement. Na mafikio yake. And that and 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 all that he is. Na yote alionayo. Lays in the glory of course. Ana ina ina imewekwa katika utukufu wa msalaba. Where Christ paid the price. Mahari Kristo alilipa gharama for human life. Kwa ajili ya uhai wa mwanadamu. Christ is our life. Kristo ndiye uhai wetu. You see when you can have a change. Kwa hivyo ukiwa na mabadiliko. It's when that Adamic nature is dead. Ni wakati ile asili ya kiadamu The old man come out. Ule mtu wa kale anakufa. You receive a new man. Na unapokea mtu mpya. Which is Christ. Abai ni Kristo. Because Paul is telling you. Kwa hivyo Paulo anakuambia. That old man. Ule mtu wa kale. Will always make you a slave of sin. Kila wakati atakufanya mtumwa wa dhambi. The Bible say. Biblia inasema. With that old man. Ukiwa na ule mtu wa kale. You cannot be able to obey the word of God. Hauwezi kutii neno la Mungu. Roman chapter 8 verse five and you cannot please God na huwezi kumpendeza Mungu you cannot even think of the things of God hauwezi kufikiria mambo ya Mungu that is why you are preaching the word of God ndio maana unahubiri neno la Mungu and then the people thinking of going to heaven na watu badala ya kufikiria kwenda biguni they are all the only thinking of things of the world wanafikiria tu ya ulimwengu they are objectives umalengo yao they are motives makusudi yao as the prophet is saying kama vile nabii anasema they what do they want to achieve here on earth kila wanataka kuwafikia hapa duniani it's not to go to glory sio kwenda utukufuni it's not to be the rapture sio kunyakuliwa they are thinking of the things of the world wanafikiria ya ulimwengu why kwa nini because they are still kind of people kwa sababu wagali watu wa kimwili the old nature is still there ile asili ya kale ile asili ya kale all the things of the things of the world because that nature is of the world and not think of the of heavenly things haiwezi kufikiria ya biguni but when you receive a new nature lakini uko pokea asili mpya which is the holy ghost abaini ile mtakatifu christ in you christo ndani yako the hope of glory tumaini la utukufu your mind changes mazo yako your life changes maisha yako yanabadilika there is a new na of newness of life kuna upya wa maisha paul is saying paul anasema for they that are after the flesh kwa maana wale waufuatao mwili do my the things of the flesh huyafikiria mambo ya kimwili but that are after the spirit bale bali wale wafikiria waumfuatao roho the things of the spirit kufikiri mambo ya roho that is why you think the things of this world ndio maana unafikiria ulimwengu huu you don't think anything of heaven haufikirie chochote cha kibigu because the person who is who is holding you captive in your soul kwa sababu anayekushikilia mateka nafsi ni mwako is the kind of man ni yule mtu wa kibigu he only think of the things of the world kila wakati anafikiria mambo ya roho he only think of the things of satisfy this flesh ni wakati wote anafikiria kulivisha you tell you of your job atakueleza juu ya tell you of your business juu ya biashara tell you of your lifestyle juu ya hadhi yako tell you of your wealth juu ya mali yako tell you of your money juu ya pesa zako tell you of your wife Tell you of your husband. Tell you of your of your children. Tell you that you are good. Na kukuambia wewe ni mzuri. You will go to heaven. Utaenda biguni. But when you die, lakini ukifa. Ground ni very tofauti. Kwa ground huko kwa kaburi very tofauti. Where you go? Mahali unaenda. You find yourself walking in that na, in that wide way. Unajipata ukitembea katika ile njia pa. Which lead to the destruction. Abai ina, inaelekea maagamizo. And the narrow way. Na ile njia nyababa. Is the word. Ni neno. Jesus said. Yesu alisema. I am the word. Mimi ni neno. I am the way. Mimi ni njia. He is that narrow way. Yeye ndiye ile njia iliyosoma. Do you think that 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 man of sin would like to, to would like to invite the narrow way in, inside there? That Jesus said. Yesu alisema. You know the Bible say. Biblia inasema. There is two ways. Kuna njia mbili. There is another way. Kuna ile njia nyeba. That many few are few are walking in it. Na wachache tu wanaingia. That that way. Eh kwa ba ile njia. Lead them to eternal life. Inaogoza katika njia ya huko. There is another way that is broad. Na kuna njia nyingine ambayo ni pa. Many are walking in it. Na wengi wanaitembea. That way ile njia lead them to destruction inaelekea katika maangamizo lead them to hell na inaelekea kuzimu now i am asking you sasa nakuuliza with that old man of sin ukiwa na yule mtu wa kale wa dhambi would you think that he will allow you to go to the narrow way wewe unafikiria anaweza kukuruhusu kupitia njia pa and the narrow way is the what na ile njia ya baba ni neno that narrow way is eternal life ile njia ya baba ni nzima milele that narrow way is jesus ile njia ya baba ni yesu jesus said yesu alisema i am the what mimi ni neno 
Amen. I am the way. Mimi dimiji. I am the everlasting life. Mimi dia uzima mile. The narrow way is the word. Ile jenye baba. That is why many people choose to walk by the word. Dio maana ni wachache tu wanachagua kutembea kwa neno. Because kwa sababu you will have to forsake the world. Itakubidi uachane na ulimwengu. You have to forsake the things of this world. Itabidi uachane na mambo ya ulimwengu. If you are thinking of eternal life. Kama unafikiria uzima mile. You have to forsake the world of this world. Lazima ukane mali ya ulimwengu. You have to forsake. Lazima ukane the pressure of this world. You have to forsake the enjoyment of this world. And Jesus said, Every man that live in houses, that live in lands, that live in his brother, his sister, his mother, his father, his husband, his wife, and for me, will live. And you are holding on because of your car. Na una, una, una kwa sababu ya gari yako and because of your house na kwa ya because, yako. Of your because of your land because of your business ya because of your money ya because, because of your wealth na kwa sababu ya mali yako and you cannot carry your cross na msaraba wako and go and be crucified with him na uende ukasulumishwe and die yako. with him na ufe pamoja na and let him na umwashe kill that old sinful nature auwe ile asili ya kale ya dhambi which the prophet say baba nabii anasema will take you to hell At, Let me read verse 6 very quickly. The, the Paul is saying here. For to be carnally minded is death. Kwa kuwa fikira za kimwili ni, ni, ni mauti. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Lakini kufikiria kiloho ni amani na uzima. When you have the Holy Spirit, wakati umepata Roho Mtakatifu, you see the Bible tells us, eh, uh, naona Biblia inakwambia that we must have the mind that was in Christ. Lazima uwe na mawazo yaliyo ndani ya Kristo. When do you have the mind that was in Christ? Unakuwa unapataje yale mawazo yaliyo ndani ya Kristo? It is when you are born again. Ni wakati umezaliwa tena. It is when you receive the person of Jesus Christ. Ni wakati umempokea huyu mtu Yesu Kristo. Which is the Holy Ghost. Bani Roho Mtakatifu. The Holy Ghost. Roho Mtakatifu is the person of Jesus Christ. Ni utu wa Roho Mtakatifu. Is the person of God. Ni yule utu wa Mungu. The Bible say Nabia, eh, God is spirit. Mungu ni roho. If you are going to receive God, kama utampokea Mungu, in form of the Holy Ghost, akiwa roho mtakatifu, he come with his mind. Anakuja na mawazo yake. This mind, haya mawazo. That you are told you must have the mind. Ambaye unaambiwa lazima uwe na mawazo. That was in Christ. Yaliyokuwa ndani ya Kristo. When Christ, you receive the Holy Ghost, ukipokea roho mtakatifu, you receive that mind. Utapokea yale mawazo. Because you are receiving a person. Kwa sababu unampokea mtu. And he come with his mind. Na anakuja na mawazo yake. He is lead your life. Ataogoza maisha yako. He change your sin. Ana badilisha Do you love him? Je, unampenda? You must have him. Lazima uwe naye. This is the only way. Hii ndio njia pekee. For eternal life. Ya uzima wa milele. That is why you are settled. Ndio maana unatulia. That is why you are satisfied. Ndio maana unaridhika. Because with your sin. Kwa sababu na ukiwa na dhambi zako. With your unbelief. Ukiwa na kutoamini kwako. You are able. Unaweza. To walk in the wide way. Unaweza kutembea katika njia pana. You are drinking. Unalewa. You are smoking. Unavuta sigara. You are gambling. Unacheza kama. You are disobedient to the word. Unakosa kulitina na Mungu. But you can become a Religious. You can join the church. Call yourself a member of your church. And be settled with that. And you are walking on the wide way. That leads to destruction. That leads to, to, to hell. But if you want to eternal life, you must receive the Holy Spirit. Because the carnal mind is a enmity against God. Ni adui kwa Mungu. For it is not subject to the law of God. Kwa sababu haitii sheria ya Mungu. Neither indeed can it be. Na haiwezi. You have a spirit. Una roho. You have a nature. Una asri. That old man, yule mtu wa kale, of sin in you, wa dhambi ndani yako, which make you a new an old garment, ambaye anakufanya vazi kuhu, which make you an old bottle, ambaye inakufanya shupa mzee. He is a you are, make you an enemy of God. Inakufanya wewe adui wa Mungu. And God cannot feel himself. Na Mungu 
hawezi kujijaza with a fast to a person kwa mtu that is that is his enemy abani adui wake it is like telling god ni kama kumwambia mungu to feel himself ajijaze in kain ndani ya kaini kain was enemy of jesus kaini alikuwa adui wa mungu that is why that he could not receive the holy spirit dio maana hangepokea roho mtakatifu and you having na wewe ukiwa and keeping that sinful nature na unahifadhi ile asili ya kale ya dhambi you are not different than kain hauna tofauti na kaini you, you are a persecutor of the word wewe ni mtenzi wa neno wa mungu you can kill the word unaweza kuliua neno you murder the word every day unafunja neno kila wakati you have the spirit of judas una roho ya judas you are a murderer wewe ni muuaji of your father the devil he was a liar and a murderer that is why you can murder the word every day when you lie you murder the word when you are fleeting with women you are murdering the word when you are smoking you are murdering the word when you are committing murder you are murdering the word when you are fornicating you are murdering the word when you don't come to the wakati unaposa kwa kanisa you are a Judas kwa sababu wewe ni Judas when you don't pay your tithe and offering as because you are a Judas kwa sababu wewe ni Judas persecute of the world but when you will receive Jesus lakini ukimpokea Yesu you will obey the word utatii neno you will live with the word utaishi kwa neno you will become a lover of the word utampenda neno and God is going to love you na Mungu atakupenda for he says kwa sababu anasema if you love me kama mkinipenda you will obey my commandments utatii amri zangu See these people they cannot obey the commandment of no, God. They are enemies of God. That is why they cannot receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Don't tell me you are not an alpha of God. Let's read. John chapter 14. Let me read this one. Let me read this last one. Let me read verse 8. Romans chapter 8 chapter 8 verse 8 So then they that are on of flesh cannot please God Wale wafuatao mwili hawawezi kumpendeza Mungu That is why you see Ndio sababu unaona As we are saying on Sunday kama tulivyosema Jumapili Jesus is not happy with the fruits Yesu hafurahi yale matunda The branches of today is bearing Yale matawi ya leo hayana matunda The prophet said The prophet said Nabii anasema We read on Sunday that God is not happy with the fruits of the bright tree. And the bright tree is Jesus Christ. For Jesus Christ is that vine tree. Ni yule mti wa msabini. And the, and the branches na yale matawi it's the church. Ni kanisa. And the church na kanisa bear the fruits. Ya yeah, inazama tu. Jesus cannot bear the fruit without the church. Na Yesu hawezi kuzama matunda bila kanisa. If you want to know Jesus, ukitaka kumjua Yesu, look at his fruits. Angalia matunda yake. Because the tree is known by its fruit. Kwa sababu mti unajulikana. That is what we learn on Sunday. Hiyo ndio tulisoma. Now look at the branches of this tree. Sasa this tree. Angalia matawi ya huu mti. Which is the church. Abaye ni kanisa. The prophet said on Sunday in the message kama katika ujumbe the bright tree that she cast her fruit kwa ba anatoa matunda yake there is not a ni ni imefurafura and warm eaten na imekuliwa na wadudu it is not a imefurafura and warm eaten na imekuliwa na wadudu why ni kwa nini because the branch ni kwa sababu ule mti is behaving like the world inajiendesha kama the because mazao ya mti huu inajiendesha kama ulimwengu they go to the dances like the world wanaenda katika dance kama ulimwengu they lie wanadaganya they steal wanaiba they smoke wanavuta sigara they gabo they commit fornication they commit adultery wanafanya usharati that's what the prophet said That, that is the fruit the church is casting and at the same time they want to say they are preaching they want to say they are believing they are stealing and they claim that they are laying hands on the sick they are committing they are committing and on Sunday you tell them to pray for tithes and offering you see they are the world and at the same time they want to be the church 
na wakati ule ule wanataka kuwa kanisa one leg is in the world mguu mmoja uko mwenyewe and the other one is in the church na mwingine uko kanisa these are hypocrites hawa ni wanafunzi they want to do god a service wanataka kumfanyia mungu outside mbana. outside his will nje ya mapenzi and they want to enjoy the things of the world na wanataka pia wafurahie ya ulimwengu when the, the judgment will come wakati hukumu itakuja they will be thrown to the lake of fire wataweka kwenye ziwa they will be told watabii depart from me niondokeni ye workers of iniquity enyi mtandao maovu jesus will not tell them yes atawaambia na you never gave your tithes and offering kwamba hamkutoa fungu you never build the church jesus no they did this and that they did these things yesu anajua walifanya mambo haya dada ni kora dada na kora and abiliam na kina bilia will never go to heaven hawataenda mbinguni but they gave their tithes lakini walitoa fungu they gave their offering walitawana sadaka they built the temple in the desert wakajenga heaven they worship jehovah wakamwabudu yeye but they did these things lakini walifanya mambo haya keep in their heart kidini cha mioyo yao believers wakiwa wasioamini god knows your heart mungu anajua moyo wako that is why na ndio sababu there is no two ways hakuna njia mbili you either believe ni uamini you leave it uache or take it ama ushukue you cannot please god hauwezi kumpendeza mungu when you are still can wakati wewe ni wakimwini there is a name of living god do you love the lord nampenda bwana amen do you love him ye unampenda I can see my time is over but I do, I'm going to read, give me give me the document that we are reading. I am going to give you three quotes. There is no way with that old canon nature of sin hakuna vile kwa hiyo asili ya kikale ya dhambi that you will ever have a half to receive the, the to receive the holy ghost. Unaweza kupokea roho mtakatifu. Never. Always. No way. It is the scriptures uh, Amos First is the book of uh, Second Corinthians 5:17 where the Bible say Therefore if any man be in Christ he is a new creature all the things are passed away behold the all things are new Can you read This is 2 Corinthians 5:17. Hata imekuwa mtu akiwa ndani ya Kristo amekuwa kiumbe kipya. Ya kale amepita. Ya kale yamepita. And remember these old things. Na mambo haya mambo ya kale are there because the old sinful nature is still there. Ya yako pale kwa sababu ile asili ya dhambi gali. That old man of sin is there. Ule mtu wa kale wa dhambi ya gali pale. But when the, when Jesus comes lakini wakati Yesu anakuja you become a new creature unafanyika kiube kipya and then the, 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 because the old things are passed away kwa sababu yote ya kale yamepita and all things become new in your life na mambo yote yanakuwa mapya na uh, maisha ni mwako in the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 17 katika kitabu cha Waefeso that's right Ephesians chapter 4 verse 17 I am finishing I told you you better be here at 6 because you will be leaving at 7:30 so he say here that ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful of lust can you read that one i told you this this sin for nature is a deceiver he will always deceive you with the last of the things of the flesh i told you nikwambie that this nature kwamba he has of sin yatan which Paul is calling the old man abai paulo anaita mtu wa kale which must pass out of your life abai lazima must come out lazima must die lazima af when he die Akifa. when he come out of your life akiondoka maisha ni mwako paulo said you are freed from sin nabi eh, paulo anasema umewekwa huru kutoka na dhambi and you live in the newness of life na unaishi katika upya wa maisha we will see that we will dig that deep on wednesday tutachibua kiridi siku ya jumani so he say that you put off concerning the former conversation the old man which is corrupt this man is so corrupt huyu mtu ni 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 mu ni mu fisad can you read this 17 basi nasema neno hili basi nasema neno hili tena nashuhudia katika bwana tangu sasa msienende msienende kama mataifa wa NW katika ubatili na wania zao ambao akili zao zimetiwa giza uh-huh. nao wamefarikishwa uh, na uzima wa, wa Mungu uh-huh. 
kwa sababu ya ujinga uliomo ndani yao kwa sababu kwa sababu ya ugumu wa mioyo yao ambao ambao wakiisha kufa ganzi uh -huh. wana wanajitia katika, katika mambo ya ufisadi wapate, wapate kufanyisha kila ya. namna ya uchafu na kutamani you see this old man of sin huyu mtu wa kale wa dhambi he will always take you a captive of the things of the flesh wakati atakufanya mateka wa mwili and he is corrupt na yeye ni mfisadi he will always defile you kila wakati atakunutia najizi so you are told kwa hivyo una in verse 24 and that you put on a new man ekwaba mvae mtu mpya you are told put off the old man mvae utumpia put off the old man that is what paul starts by saying paul anaanza na kusema umvue umvue mtu wa kale kwa nini hii kitabu yako iseme umvue si kwa si ndio kiswahili mzuri because in verse 17 inasema put off that old sin that's right and and, the, and again he say in verse 24 and then ye put on a new man mkavae mtu mpya which is after god uliyoubwa kwa is created in righteousness kwa maana ya Mungu katika and, and, and true and, hol, and holiness na utakatifu na na, na, kwe, na, na wakwe. because when you put off the, new, the put off the old man when you put off the old so, man verse 25 inasema basi ufueni uh, okay so, eh, sasa hii hi ni matendo ya huyo mtu wa dhabi okay. anakuambia anakuambia verse 25 put away lie Ufweni uongo speaking man uh, truth with his neighbor um, mkasema ukweli katika mtu na jirani yake for we are members of one another kwa maana tu viungo be ye angry kila uh, ki, uh, okay and sin not um, na, uh, let the sun go down uh, not let, let not the sun go down uh, upon your wrath neither give a praise the devil let him that that is told still no more because now you have put up that old man kwa sababu he sasa how can, how can you still unaezaje how can you lie unaezaje kudaganya to your neighbor jirani wako and that old of man of sin is no longer there na yule mtu wa kale wa dhambi hauimo you have received a new man umepokea mtu mpya which is jesus christ abaye ni yesu christ and the prophet told us na nabii anatuambia you cannot imagine jesus smoking or drinking hauwezi kufikiria yesu that's right and when he come in you na kija ndani yako you cannot smoke hauwezi kufikiria when he come in you you cannot drink when he come in you you cannot fit with women you can, you can be tried but he will never let you go there so he said let him that is still still no more but rather let him labor working with his heart lakini afanya kazi kwa mikono yake the things which is good that he may have to give that which he him need, that needed let verse 29 Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth but that which is good to the use, to the use of edify that may minister grace into the hearers grief not the holy spirit of god whereby you are sealed until the day of the day of, of your give me the book of colossians i want to read with the book of colossians chapter 3 16 verse 6 verse, verse 6 to 10 colossians chapter 3 verse 6 to 10 we say for which things sake the wrath of god cometh on the children of disobedience verse 7 in which you also walked the same way when you lived in them but he say but now verse 8 lakini sasa also put off all these things put yeah, all this anger and wrath and malice and blasphemy feel the communication out of your mouth lakini sasa yawekeni bali ninyi mm -hmm. haya yote mm -hmm. asila na ghadhabu na uovu mm -hmm. na matukano na matusi mm -hmm. Lie not one another. Musi daga musi musi abiana uongo. Seeing that you have put off the old man with his deeds. Kwa kuwa mmemvua kabisa utu wa kale pamoja na matendo yake. Utu wa kale. When you leave that when you put off that old man. Wakati unamvua yule mtu wa kale with his deeds na matendo yake. And that man is corrupt. Na yule mtu eh, mtu ni, ni mfisadi. And he corrupt you. Na na ku, na, na, ku, na, na kuchafua. And how do you want in corrupt Holy Spirit to come in you? Na je una una unaezaje kukutana uh, jia roho mtakatifu aliye ni msafu aje ndani yako he can't